Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit Mars sextile or trine one's natal moon. Now, this transit can manifest in courage, action, initiative, drive, motivation, energy. This could be in harmony uh, with your emotional needs. Now, it can be a time where you could be more, um, it's a good blending of enthusiasm and uh, in what you, your emotional needs are. I mean, if you have your you know, natal moon in Sagittarius and emotional needs may be connected with publishing or advertising, the sports and the outdoors, and it's having the right amount of energy to do that in that example. And it's also a time where you could uh, respond in a way that's, that's direct, but not in a way that comes across you know, as being abrasive, acerbic. It's just about being able to, you know, respond uh, to things in, you know, in a way where you're actually, you could be outspoken and, and do so, um, you know, quickly, but not, not in a way where you come across, you know, as, as being aggressive or being overly abrasive. It can be a time to, you know, when you have, uh, you know, these, um, you know, this trance, keep in mind that Mars being about courage. It's also, you know, if you have to respond to, Moon is about our reactions and responses. So if you have to uh, respond to something, you know, there could be a crisis situation, some emergency, this is a very good aspect uh, for that. Mars is about action, it's about courage and fortitude. In fact, the Moon is connected with our reactions and responses, makes that an auspicious transit for this. Um, and the moon is also connected uh, with the mother of uh, the family. And it's a time, too, where you can, uh, if you have to take on some kind of leadership role, uh, the fam in, in your home, your family life, there are those people in the home, the family life, people prominent there, can be more in favor of that than they ordinarily would. It's not where they're going, you know, to look at it like, well, you know, you're being overly bossy, overly authoritative. This is a time where if you have to take on some kind of leadership role, and it could just simply be, you know, standing up for your family, uh, people that are probably, that might be staying in your home that may not necessarily be family members. This is the time where you can uh, also take action those people or somebody needs some kind of assistance with something or whatever it might be um, it's also a time to uh, keep in mind the moon is also uh, connected with people uh, prominent women in one's life so it's a time as well um, when you we have this transit you know, Mars in being about you know, sexuality if you have um, if you have a um, prominent woman you know, in your life, you know, and you're, you know, it's a significant other. You know, this is a time where it's a good, you know, it could be more auspicious for a favorable sexual, you know, connection at this time more so than usual. Um, it could also be a time to, you know, when you have this transit, it's about having the drive, the energy, and the motivation to do things that are home related. If you have your natal moon in Scorpio say it might be doing something with you know, transformation of the home. It could be remodeling you know, some kind of home renovation. Um, it could be I mean, if you have your natal moon in Sagittarius, it could be something just by expanding the home, adding you know, this would be like a partition or something like that to the home. And it's having more of the, you know, again, that drive, the motivation, the enthusiasm to do, to take care of those matters at this time. Um, it's also a time to, uh, where it could be having the courage, could be just standing up for people that are just simply close, you're close to home with at this time and taking action in, in matters with these people. If something needs to be addressed, um, if you have to confront somebody you're close to home with or whether it's a family member or a woman prominent in your life this is the time where you can likely do so and have less you know, negative repercussions or do so in a way 
where you don't come across as overly acerbic or antagonistic. It's a time you know, where you confront uh, these people just by being direct, being outspoken, and being able to state clearly you know, what it is that, that might be. It could be something that they're doing that might be bothering you. It could be something that needs to be addressed, whether it's, it's a home or family member that's not doing their share around the home. It's a time where you're more likely, more so than, than usual, to be able to have the courage to address any matters like this and be able to do so in a way where people are less likely to be rebuffed or taken aback by it. Now, anatomically speaking, uh, the moon is associated with the chest, the breast, the stomach, the ribs, and water retention. So this is a time if you've had any of these issues anatomically speaking that I described that are associated with the moon, it's a time where you're more likely than not to take action on it, to have the initiative to do something about uh, these matters. If it's something where you've been relaxed or you've been procrastinating on or hesitating and you haven't done anything about these issues, this is the time more so than usual where I would say you could do, you would be more apt to do something um, about that and Mars is also associated with surgery so I would think too this would be like you know, more of a propitious time um, for surgery needed connected with the, again, the breast, the chest, the stomach or the ribs this could be a time where it could be more favorable uh, to do so because you're having a good aspect being made by transit from Mars uh, to the moon at this time and um, another thing too about this transit is that it's this could be a time where you'd be more enthusiastic. It could be about doing things that are associated with your past, or whether it's activities or people that were prominent in your past, whether it could be somebody from your early childhood or somebody you knew back in. Um, your early education it could be somebody from grade school, from junior high, from high school. This could be a time where you be, have, may have more exuberance, more enthusiasm to do things you know, with these people. If you're, you know, say, if the natal moon is an Aquarius, it could be somebody you may have um, had some in, you, know, you may have done, um, had some interest in you know, astronomy with. If it was someone you were in an astronomy club or something, um, somebody that was that did things with you on the computer or, or electronics, as some other examples, and the um, the moon is also about our memories as well. So it's a time where you might it's it's having positive memories. It could be about matters in which you, know, you took action with them over something. And you showed some bravery, you showed some courage um, about being able uh, to really also to the fact that you know, Mars is about combat. I would say too, if there, if there are any negative memories you're experiencing at this time, it's a better opportunity, I would say, to fight them, to combat them. You don't get rid of negative memories hardly ever completely, but it would be at least a time where I would say you can maybe supplant them with positive ones by eliminating these bad memories temporarily. Um, it could also be a time to, if you're somebody that's involved with the public, whether you're in public sales or like some door to door salesman, or you know, you're working in some retail store, you're selling items, this could also be a favorable time for uh, being, being aggressive. In getting your your products sold without, you know, figuratively speaking, romping over, running over the per people in the process, without being coming across as overly pushy or forceful, um, and the moon is also about our feelings. So it's also a time where you have more, I'd say, the courage, the fortitude to be able to express feelings and sentiments at this time, more so than usual, whether it's regarding, you know, a loved one, a friend, or what have you. Now, another way this transit may manifest, it could be about drive and motivation, which is Mars, uh, for your home and for your family, which is the moon. 
let's say for example if the natal moon is in the zodiac sign cancer it could be doing things around the home associated with plumbing laundry cooking as some examples hold on a moment people Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now it could also be a time too where it can be very uh, positive for having the vitality, which is Mars, to do things associated with your emotional needs, which is the moon. Let's say, for example, if the natal moon is in Taurus, it could be um, those emotional needs may include creature comforts, geology, um, just having general peace, uh, calmness in your life. Um, now, it could also be a time where um, a sexual partner, which is Mars, could be more in harmony with your the unconscious side that you express, which is the moon. Now, let's say, for example, if the uh, natal moon is in Gemini, it could be expressing very shrewd, um, quick-witted, versatile qualities, um, as some examples now could also be a time where it's auspicious to, um, to take action, which is Mars, on uh, caring, which is moon, for something. Let's say, for example, if the natal moon is in Libra, it could be um, caring about a contract. It could be about reconciliation, a relationship, uh, a legal matter, as some examples. It may also be a time where it's propitious to take initiative, which is Mars, and it can be with someone from the past, uh, which is uh, the moon. Now, let's say, for example, if your um, your natal moon you know, is an Aquarius, it could be somebody you know, again that you shared like an astrological interest with, or uh, maybe somebody that helped you understand computers better or electronics, um, as some examples, or even astronomy. Um, if you were stargazing with this person as some examples or you were involved in altruistic or humanitarian endeavors with this person as some examples but anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment until next time edwin learner saying stay well